Season 14 brings us a lot of new things like a new map, items, and various changes. However, there is still one Rift boss that walks straight into the middle of a fight and one-shots entire enemy squads in seconds. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy, and let's get back in with another game-ending moment with a satisfying style. In a game where the enemies are hard dominating the red team, it's still a mystery how it's possible when their two inhibitors are already opened. You see, this guy has his own style of pushing over and over, not risking grouping with the team. After farming alone on every lane, enemies will need a miracle to finally take him down. Samber is another player who spent most of the game farming and building up. Now that the late game has arrived, he decided to join and help his team fight for the Drake. Even if the enemy Samira is a bit behind, she can still be very dangerous and painful, but not for Set, who doesn't feel any damage. It's a really hard challenge for Norfolk Wolf, where his lane is getting ganked over and over by a fed Shaco. If that's not enough, this Shaco is one of those who try to tilt enemies by spamming their mastery emote all the time, and the best feeling is when you outplay them. This guy has two jobs in the game, first as a delivery man and second as a finisher. He drives in Herald to hit the first turret, then he finds time to get rid of some enemies. After that, he goes back to the Herald car again to continue his first job. Enemies finally found some time to say stop with split pushing on the bot lane. Even if Darius and Udyr with support can be a really hard challenge to beat, Silly Chocolate didn't seem to have any problems. And it's just additional gold for him.
Deep Potatoes is big enough to not waste any more time in this game by waiting for the rest of his team. This guy already has everything to just walk straight into the middle of enemies and wipe everyone with one shot. Buena entrada y salida, excelente. Toma la reconcha de tu madre, hijo de puta. Déjame, déjame. If a 1v2 gank is usually not the best decision when set is in good hands, then bringing more friends like Karma is a wise choice. Her massive shield can keep you alive even in the most deadly situations, but I guess it's still not enough against the raid boss of the rift. There is a huge party at bot lane where Set is running as fast as possible to give some help. But when he arrived, it looks like the party had ended until Thresh made one of his biggest mistakes in this season. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.